Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and we have the first match on the Copa Libertadores group stage coming right up for you. It's Fortaleza, and they face Goyas. Well, thank you, Derek. As a team, you can really set the tone of the whole competition in these early rounds. Really put a marker down. Everyone is watching. Set the standards, Derek. A look then at the starting 11. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. This is what they'll be facing today. It does look as though they will mirror their opponents with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, Lee. Yeah, and when you go against a 4-4-2 and you're playing it yourself, you match up in midfield, that's the important area. Sometimes you play do midfield players, you can get outnumbered when a number 10 comes in between you, but it's not the case today. It's all about individuals against individuals. Who's going to come out on top? And now they get the ball rolling. El Tildo Besa. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Good control under pressure. Paulo Letinho. Now Tony Moutinho. It's got to be! Can he take the chance? A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, all, all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. Opening goal of the game, then. Jorginson. Now Pimenti Schino. Silas Almeim. Well, it's terrific to have the Copa Libertadores group stage finally underway. The biggest club competition here in South America with a rich history going back to the 60s. Lee, always a pleasure to be here commentating with you. But most importantly, who do you fancy to go all the way? Well, probably one of the sides from Argentina or Brazil, to be honest. They've been so dominant over the last few decades and it's hard to see past one of those powerhouses. Hopefully, we're proven wrong and there's maybe a few upsets along the way, Derek. He's driven in the corner. Fisted clear. Jorginson. Christian Lodeira giving it a try. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Jonas Damasto. On the ball, Denisco. El Tildo Besa. Aníbal. Besa. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Now, well, just couldn't keep himself onside. A 
and Selva Nisko. Promising looking ball. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And a throw in it's going to be. Ansel Barnisco. He has time to play it over. On the ball, Barnisco. An attack full of promise. Couldn't keep it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Cabrisco Anibal Ansel Barnisco Bessa and the flag has gone up here offside the decision given away Ansel Barnisco. Bessa. On the ball, Barnisco. Jonas Damasto. Passing it with a bit of panache. Will he play it in? Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Ansel Barnisco. Josue de Feira and in possession Lodeira an unforced error you've got to say it's Jonas Damasto a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in Ansel Barnisco Pesa well, they've lost possession of the ball. Has a go. And they slot it home. Dealing with the threat that was real. Now, Jorginson. Jackson Zonta. And options in the centre. And in possession, Lodeira. It's with Jackson Zonta. That is that for the first half here. tense battle so far and now the second half is underway here's Leo Calderinha Pimenti Schino Leo Calderinha well they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. On the ball, Barnisco. It's Jonas Damasto. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. And you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Jorginson. Pimenti Schino. Christian Lodeira. It might be on for them. Now, Jorginson. Jackson Zonta. Options in the centre. And he took care of it defensively. 
El Tildo Bessa. Anibal. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. And they do like to press whenever they can. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Silas Almeim, Leo Calderinha. Moving into the advanced position, Jackson Zonta. Well, they couldn't make anything of that cross with the ball in a decent enough position. El Tildo Bessa, Aníbal. Now Tony Moutinho, Bessa. Now will they be able to play it in behind the defence? They've won back possession. And it's with Caio Nunson. Victor Dino. Now Jorginho. Christian Lodeira. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Dino. Bessa. Looks promising this. Rob them. And they'll get ready for the throw in. It's with Paolo Letinho. Not a smart enough cross there, but no attacker able to touch it. Victor Dino. And in possession, Lodeira. Victor Dino. Caio Nunson. Now, Jorginho. to be a throw-in and well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game and space for the cross well, they get high marks for that move but they couldn't make it count he's lost it Jorginho. Here's Leo Calderinha. Crossing opportunity. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Now Jorginho. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. It's with Cachoeira. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And that's it for tonight. Full time and an encouraging start for them. Three points from their initial fixture lead. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek. Bit of a cliche.